here we are. So if you remember last time we got to the next world, uh, which I think was level two. So let's see where we're at. I think they're in the middle of a midsummer there was a adventure. This kingdom established among the heavens. From that kingdom came a crowned heir, tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the Kingdom of Darkness. The first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the pearl. But she was deceived, and the memory of her noble origins faded. She now believed that she was the queen of the Kingdom of Darkness. Who's but that? take heart. A second crowned heir had already taken up the path where the first had stumbled. Is that my sister? This is the story of your journey. Is that me? Of your tale to be told. I wonder if that's my sister, the Queen of Darkness. Just a guess. Just looked kind of familiar. I really don't know though. No idea. <sighs> Alright, so we have Midsummer Island Adventure. I don't know what that is. Something with Klee, that little happy girl. Echoing Tales. Bunch of outfits they're giving out. And test run, so we can test run a bunch of characters. Well, let's do these test runs real quick. You guys get to see what new characters we have along with me. So this is Klee, the little girl that was that uh, main character of the Midsummer. I like the range launching the thing. That's a very Keeping my distance. Okay, stay back. Just launching grenades. Out. Let's see next. It does, uh, well, it doesn't just hit the line. Oh. Jumpy, dumpy, go! that defense. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my Probably like the best character ever. I have not gotten hit yet. Oh, perfect. Sweet. I want that character. I wonder if I can earn it. See, Cotton Belly still sleeping. Sleeping all day. That's Pumpkin. One of his nicknames. Alright, let's try. Sucrose. We tried you in that special event a couple weeks ago. You were like some kind of a distance of the range detector. Stand clear. Not quite as strong as all the other ones, but very agile. I have freeze, I was just breathing while they were all cooked. And I do have Kaya as food as well. Animal test six. I don't have any problems Kaya to the rescue. Enhanced animal module 75. Absorption test. Water should be good against fire, but it doesn't seem to be Bye-bye. Oh, I got hit. Oh, she's not water, she's wind. That's why wind's not that small. Okay, so water will be better. Yeah, but I don't have water. I have Lisa and Kaya. Yeah. So I will make the yeah. Enhanced animal module 75. Not bad there. Yeah. 
like any game, you dodge and attack, dodge and attack, dodge and attack. Like, you know, like, like, like they copied all their strategies and just dodge and attack, dodge and attack. Or, or Zelda, Zelda's a lot of the dodge and attack. I'm not attacking, I'm dodging. <laughs> Ta-da! Peace, Kate. Alrighty. Thank you, thank you. Whoops. I hit Klee again, now I can fix that. All right, official. Again, I own this character, so I know how to use her. So this should be nice. Good power, but it's only to one target, so it's not quite as exciting as that. By royal decree. No rest for the wicked. Shadow Raven, let night fall. No rest for the wicked. Barely got hit. That was nice. But um, all right. Do we want to do Midsummer Line Adventure Island Adventure, or do we want to do some of the other things? I think because these only have a very short amount of time, we'll probably go knock these in out these ones out. Um, I will skip the mail for now. Stop. What does this mean? Oh, they're trying to sell, uh, outfits. Okay. There's only one. Ah, so I can buy some of these. To get characters. Um, good to know. All right. Um, yeah, world level two now. Almost at twenty six. All right. Let's see where are we at right now. We are. Let's let's check out one of these midsummer. I can always catch up with the other quests. They're no time consuming so, or no uh, time limit. This one only has a few days left, so uh, let's check out the details. Fleet the true treasure to unlock the event. So you have to do a quest first. L lately, the patrons of the Angels Share have been discussing a new topic. Who is Monstead's strongest fighter? It is said that the little girl in red can destroy large swaths of land in an instant. And this, this fearsome force comes from her secret treasure. Hmm, the grenade launcher. Okay. Check that map. Map shows in the city. I will head there. <gasps> 
I could start a quest just in case I bump into it, the answer, while I'm here. Let's start a bounty, just for kicks. Let's start a request. Helen, Helen wants sweet flowers. Done and done. Whoa. I didn't mean to hit you. She's all scared. I'm so sorry. Alright, Patton. <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in! Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch! Must be far more to it than that. Wow! Then it really must be tough to become the strongest of all. But anyway, is there like the general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the City of Freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Oh. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight Hero. Anyone vote for me? Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you! Hehe. <laughs> and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. <laughs> but don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Let's check it out. Well, it be today. Who's the strongest fighter in Monster? The strongest fighter. I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Sources. Just like they have an exclusive supplier of wine? Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight Hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Got one vote for the redhead. Six-fingered Jose, what do you think? Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Uh, not right this second, senor. Uh, who's the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girlie who wears red. Girl dressed in red? That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stone Bear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. That'd be Amber, right? Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I've ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Wow. Holy moly! Yeah. I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girlie in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. Now that you mention 
attention at the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Oh boy, Paimon loves treasure. Did you say treasure? <laughs> I called it. Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean, no. It's a bard's razor sharp intuition. I'll take you at your word for now. Thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. Uh, I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm, doesn't sound like much to go on. But we'll thanks for your account. Gracias, señor. Adios. Hasta luego. Posiblemente. Hey, All right. I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wanna join me? Who's the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? That's what I asked. In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley. Oh, the third person now. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Marjavari. Who the what? Bloodthirsty beasts of the Marjavari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? I'd run for my life. I'd beat it to a pulp. I'd be a pulp. Yeah! Bam! Wham! Pow! Three down, one to go. Bruce, you're not Stanley. Hi. <laughs> you're drunk. Are you here to try Monset's famous wine too? Who's the strongest fighter? Uh, the strongest fighter of them all? Well, that would be Jane, obviously. <laughs> Why? Grandmaster Jane is so strong. She can take out a ruined guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <laughs> and she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes of Dada Upa Gorge all by her self. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that she makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. <laughs> I was right about one thing. Everyone has an opinion. Not just that, but some people's choice of candidate is just plain weird. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever going to find out who Monster's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says! Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Who do you think I'll be on there? I guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. What? Don't worry, though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities. Alright, Paimon. At least I have a cheerleader. Go to the headquarters. That would be over here. I'm lazy and I'm teleporting every possible instant. Saves time. Whoa. I opened the door while I was still hovering. Nice. All right, Jean, what's up? Oh, Master Jean, sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. 
I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. Paimon was hoping he would at least make the top five. <laughs> <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me... Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After he beats the Abyss Order, he'll climb up their ranking table faster than he climbs up all those cliffs! <laughs> I'm on. There is no ranking table. Well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. Alright, leave the office. I can do this. Redhead girl. Ooh, just talking about you. Are you all right, huh? Oh. Oh. A book with a clover on it. Uh, I, I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Sorry for bumping into you. You dropped something. Hey, look! There There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded but be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Monstep be bombed. Clee be doomed. That's it. I can see it backwards. I just realized it. Look at that. Backwards. Glee be doomed. So, so some letters are backwards. Like D is backwards. D O O M is sort of upside down, ease backwards. So, that's interesting. There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy wall. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Mondstadt be bombed. Klee be doomed. Flee. Yikes! Mr. Connor wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um... Survival rules. Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Something terrible? Yep. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. My name is Mangler3M. And Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no! There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. What's wrong? The the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods, it's gone. Did you say buried treasure? I think she needs our help. Exactly what Paimon was thinking. Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay, thanks you guys. Here, here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it, to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight, let's go! Unlock. Story quests. The best way to understand someone is by spending time with them. I've unlocked story quests and leveled up. Sweet. We're rolling. 
Alright, so this wants me to go to a book house in Leeway Harbor. But first I'm going to go to this treasure trove and get done with this short term one. Alright, I'm going to start here. Teleporting because that's what I do. Teleportation. Teleportation homes. <laughs> Story quests. Okay, so they're down here. Ah, uh, well, Razor and Alfredo seem really busy recently. So Klee must not disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. Hmm. I never thought I'd have a new big brother to help me. <laughs> I'm so happy. You hang out events. Got it. Here's a bunch of them. I can't do them. Oh, can I do them? If I click on Diona. Oh, I need two keys. So you have to do daily commissions to get keys. Okay, so this is more reason to do daily commissions. How do they keep having this? Uh, it was an alert to let you know more stuff to do. Those will be fun to do. Maybe each day I'll pick one or something if I can't do my daily quest to get them out. The fun part. All right. Found the treasure with the big sign and the big hole in the ground. We're here. This is the place. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground. Wait, who's over there? It's... Hey, maybe he's the one Gene was warning us about. What's that in his hand? That's my treasure. Just guessing. <gasps> my treasure? Hey. What? So predictable. Mm, I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! After him! What's in a fist mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, soft, and fluffy. I want a pet. Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? Yes. <laughs> Not yours. I should really switch because this is wind stuff is not very good for pirates. Right, you. Don't get frostbite. Yeah, takes a lot of things. Dodge this. Aw. Cool it. I'm on a roll. Don't push your luck. Don't be drawn in by it. Abyss mages are the bad guys. Oh, that's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I hit it in it. Wait. <laughs> that girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I. Oh, yeah, right. Pick your boat. There we go. This moment will be full. Oh yeah. Freeze. Come on, we can do it. Yeah, let the show begin. Dodge this. 
Bye bye. But if we could just get him to give it back. Wow, he's fat. some eggs. See some stuff I can knock over. I need a cleaver or What's something. Something a little stronger. Or I can just go in here. I'll bet she's in here. Or not. How about here? happens when you knock over lots of rocks. Okay, I got two. Where would the third one be? I kind of want to go down and look. Wait, I see something. There we go. Hole in the ground right here. Aha! Ta-da! Let's keep up the chase. Clee, do you need a rest? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No, I'm coming with you. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. I admire your courage. <laughs> don't worry, Clee is a big girl. Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight, let's go. Mr. Honorary Knight? Okay, so this is just a random spot and I just go in. Alright, they recommend 37 as my average. Let's look at my characters now and see if they're anywhere near that. 27. 39. 39. 36. So Amber, you are voted out. I'm going to swap you with Bishop. It's raining again. This will hit your oven. We must remain vigilant. There we go. Character is down. Okay, not official. How about you? I trust you. Yep, I don't trust you though. Alright, so they don't have any specific that they require, so I'm just going to go for it. Or that they recommend. You're a healer. You're a battler, you're a freezer, and you're a question mark, because I've not used it. So we'll see. Maybe I will learn. Learning is good. Oh, and I get you, Clee, the grenade launcher. Oh, this is great. You destroyed that test room. Burn all that. Not exploding. Uh, I think long range. Actually, explosions would be good for it down here. La, la, la. This grenade launcher is so awesome. Boom. <laughs> Nothing over here. Just some fowl and potato. A long distance ice thingy over here. Get 
can't hit me from far away. Whoa, the ice guy can. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna open this thing and go get this uh, cold water. Instant freeze. I uh, come out at the kitty entrance there. Ooh. Exquisite chest. So that would be it over here. Burning it just in case there's food or something under it. There is. Raw meat. Yes. Goodbye. Burning everything. On fire. Okay. I think we are set in this room. This was pretty easy. Alright. That's an interesting looking little laser thing. I hope it doesn't move. not moving. It's convenient to be short. I can sneak under here, I think. I just can't jump. Now they get hit by the laser and they don't get hurt. That's Alright, we're gonna have to switch to Barbara so we can heal you. Oh, that did do damage. I had to sneak under. That, there we go. He's not as short. Oh, I can't climb on top of this rock. Ready? No. Huh? Go, Barbara, go! Alright. Unlocked. Who needs to beat these guys? Me. Oh, no. Now I'm surrounded. Whoa. Alright. Range is great against the enemies because they're up But we also need one of them strong uh, swords to knock these guys down. Let's switch to them. They are in suits. Nice. What a mess. Good job. Alright, well. Let's grenade this up. I wish I could have that character forever. Huh? Lee. Alright, how do we get out of here? Just came from somewhere, and now they got more monsters. So let's follow the monsters. He's not. Did I miss? There we go. No food. Okay. All right. You and your grenades are gonna help me with this guy. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Some mission was completed by that. Now I get to fight you. You followed me. You look like a fire one, so I probably need water. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? My mind's is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> oh, the human proclivity to gossip has provided us with everything we need. We learned that your little red friend had in a position the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. That treasure is now in my hands. There is nothing you can do. Now your precious treasure shall be your undoing. No, no, no wait, don't touch it. <laughs> oh, how you fret now. Your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Blew herself up. No! I broke the survival rules. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. This is it. This time I'm done for. Blew no. themselves up. Don't be sad. It's okay, Clee. Uh, <laughs> wait, so Clee's treasure is a bomb? That made short work of Abyss Mage. That was epic. Uh, that was epic. No wonder Clee was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Time number one is never picking a fight with her, ever. Hold on. Why is she gone and run off? Something to do with the survival rules. Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's headquarters and report to Jean. That was easy. Quest goal is in Tevat. Head there to continue your quest. Will do. Oh, I'll take this first. Glad I bumped into you, Mr. Precious Chest. Ooh, Hero's Wit. And a bunch of other... Good stuffs. Okay. I'm confident. Let's get out of here. Let's go talk to Jean again. I wonder why they put me in the middle. Oh, that's right where I start. I see. Let's teleport over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't do it with her, but that's okay. She came to Jean, that's good. Clee? You're here too? That's good. I... I turned myself in. Huh? You hurt the bad guy. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Clee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Wait, there's been a misunderstanding. Why is that? The person the key blew up was an abyss mage. But, but Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity. What? What? I don't get it. This was an oversight on my part. 
I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Because of Mondstadt's most powerful treasure? Aha! That's it! Paimon understands now! They were tracking down poor Clay because they heard rumors about our treasure! Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no! <laughs> to try and get the facts on the treasure! So, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ooh, pasta! Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! I'm so happy for you. Mr. Honorary Knight, you've gotta come too! whoop de doo It's a happy ending! Except... Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I... um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Uh-oh, Jean noticed it too. Clee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm. Paimon bets Clee must get bored in there all by herself. Find the door to the confinement room in Knight Headquarters. Oh, it's such a long one. Guess who? That's Paimon's voice I hear. Need help busting out of this joint? Oh, oh, yes, please. Wait, no, I, I can't. Clee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Lily Heart Pastum version. Um, when you say treasure, <laughs> I made it into the shape of a heart pastum and everything. It'll look so cute. You disguised a bomb as a heart pastum? Just wait for Looney Harpastum. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this, Clee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Hello. Quest completed. May the animal archon return. Guarded mystery items journey to the unknown. <laughs> Come to think of it, we haven't seen Clee for a while, have we? Let's go find her. She'll probably be happy to see us, too. But where would she be at this time of day? We might as well check with the knights. I'll be more careful next time. Next time, I'll complete a big heroic adventure all by myself, and I'll do it safely. I've heard that the Adventure Guild has its own set of rules. I wonder if I could get them to... Yeesh! If Cyrus was listening to this, he would be begging Jane to extend Clee's sentence! Interesting. So they have me go out and come back in. It's probably like restart the video sequence or something. There she is! Over there! Clee! We haven't seen you in forever! You saw her two seconds ago. Oh, it's Mr. Honorary Knight and Paimon! Maybe they assumed I finished that part earlier. <laughs> I'll wait for something. <laughs> matter? I got a terrible, terrible letter and need to go to a certain place. A terrible letter? Yes, from a person. 
person that won't acknowledge that Klee and Dodo the core family. They even said they want to test Klee and have Klee go to Dodo Land, but... But... There's no need to rush! Slow down! Who's the person you're talking about? A very bad, bad, bad guy! He's called Dodo King. Who's Dodo King? Paimon also hasn't heard of him? Nope. Wait, why did you say also? Because even Klee has never heard of him. Ah, uh, he's probably just some weirdo. I went to go find Albedo, but he's not home, so I thought of you. Let me read you the letter that Dodo King wrote. <coughs> Wicked girl of flame, I am off the Dodo clan. Uh, Klee can't read this part. In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodoko's new family. <laughs> Unless you bring Dodoko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, life for, uh, except the, um, I don't know some of these words. Let Paimon have a look. This word is overboard, which means he's the most powerful guy around, and what he says goes. This part reads, Light four beacons and knock upon the trialist gate. Hmm, probably to accept some kind of challenge. The last word is arbitrate, which, uh, which means he wants to judge you. Arba, um... Arbitrate? Ugh, it's nothing good anyway. He'll judge and criticize you while pretending to be the good guy. Sounds like he wants you to return, Dodoko. How could this be? Dodoko is my bestest friend, so I'll never give Dodoko to him. But he said he's the strongest of the Dodo clan. Hmm. Could the Dodo clan be Dodoko's family? From the names, it seems like it. But Klee, where is this Golden Apple Archipelago? I don't know. What? Well, this is also the first time Klee has heard of the Golden Apple Archipelago. Golden Apple Archipelago. Hmm. It's probably an island with lots of apples. <laughs> uh, the only things written on the letter were what Klee just read out to us. And there's no signature. Klee, did this letter come with an envelope? Nope. Where was the letter sent from? I don't know. It suddenly appeared on my room's window, so... Dodo King? Dodo Clan? If Paimon remembers correctly, Dodoko is the toy hanging on Klee's backpack, right? No, Dodoko is my bestest friend, not some toy. Oh, right, what a magical creature Dodoko is. Uh, but all this sudden talk about family and whatnot is pretty strange. It feels like it might be a prank. I also suspect it's a prank. If it's just a prank, then we should ignore it. No! No way! I'll never admit defeat! I have to go there! But we've never even heard of such a place! Mr. Honorary Knight, you know what to do, right? Klee believes in you! Even if we did know what to do... Uh... I'm begging you! Please! Please help me! Paimon feels like if we don't agree to help, she'll go off her own. That'd be dangerous. Indeed. Rather than letting Klee go adventuring off by herself, it'd be better if we accompany her. Oh, please, please! I understand now. Ah, uh, how can we say no after seeing you try so hard? But since we're going together, you need to be well behaved and not run off by yourself. Okay. As per usual, let's start by asking around for some info. Let's walk around the city. 
me and ask some people who might know something about the situation. Okay. We'll start with you. Cyrus. Cyrus, we want to ask you about a place. You know him, won't you? Won't you? Oh? <laughs> the little adventurer looks troubled. Have you all encountered some sort of problem? Uh, you could say that. Basically, we want to find a certain archipelago, but it seems no one's ever even heard of it. So we came here to ask you, a seasoned adventurer. Tyron's trying really hard for Klee. Suddenly so charming, by mine. <laughs> if you seek unknown lands or adventuring knowledge, then you've come to the right man. What kind of archipelago are you all looking for? It has lots of small islands on the sea. It's called the Golden Apple Archipelago. Golden Apple Archipelago? Uh, um, hmm. <laughs> You're all amazing. You've managed to find a place that even I, the Great Cyrus, haven't heard of. What? Even you don't know of it? Indeed, indeed. The land of Tevat is immense. No person can walk its entire breadth. But do not fear, dear friends. You must have the courage to venture into the unknown. Who would have thought that even Cyrus, the branch master of the Adventurers Guild, wouldn't know anything? Could it be that these islands don't exist? You sure sounded confident a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come now, <laughs> don't be like that. Oh, how can this be? Oh, don't it go? All right, we'll ask the other two people that probably have no idea either. Meow. Here we go. Marjorie. Here you talk to everybody. Marjorie here might have heard some strange things. After all, souvenirs do come in all shapes and sizes from a variety of places. Strange things? What do you mean? Do you know about the Golden Apple Archipelago? It's made up of lots of small islands and located somewhere in the sea. <laughs> Aren't all archipelagos made of small islands and situated at sea? That's right. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Uh, then let Paimon ask a different question. Are there archipelagos in Mondstadt? Not as far as I know. You've seen a map of Mondstadt, haven't you? All known islands are already charted, so check it out. Generally speaking, maps will faithfully record the land's topography. For most people, if it's not on a map, it doesn't exist. Mondstadt's map doesn't show any, so that must mean there are none. A place that doesn't exist? Uh, oh, how could that be? Uh, no, no, no! Uh, Paimon meant that we should go find other people to ask! Mr. Huffman, do you know about the Golden Apple Archipelago? It's on the sea. A Golden Apple Archipelago on the sea? 
Uh, this is the first I've heard of it. Are the islands that grow many apples? So you also don't know? Well, given that I've been always just patrolling the city... <sighs> I do apologize. It's okay, I forgive you. Lee, he wasn't actually apologizing. Huh? Really? Uh, let's go ask someone else. That's all three. Looks like the people of Mondstadt don't know anything about the place in this letter. It's more and more like a prank to me. Klee, is there anyone you can think of that you don't get along with? Would there be anyone who'd write a letter to scare you? No, I love everyone very much, and everyone loves Klee very much. Hmm, Paimon thinks so too. So it can't be a prank. Agreed. No one would prank Klee. Prank? Yet no one knows where these islands are! Ugh, this is getting more and more confusing! Is there someone even more knowledgeable I can ask? Knowledgeable. Oh, right! We should ask Lisa about this kind of thing! She's at the library every day and has probably read every book in Mondstadt! <laughs> oh, Miss Lisa! Let's go to the library! Let's go to the library! <laughs> Shortcut. On the way. Oh yeah. Open while still hovering. The little things. <laughs> Probably books everywhere around here. I haven't gotten it. Oh, there's Lisa. Lisa! Oh, well, if it isn't cutie, Paimon, and Klee, what brings you to the library all of a sudden? Miss Lisa, can you help Klee find an arch archipelago? An archipelago? Dodo King told Klee to go to the Golden Apple Archipelago so he can challenge Klee. Don't worry, Klee. Let Paimon explain. Lisa, it's like this. You tell Lisa everything you know about the letter and the archipelago. Well, let me get this straight. To determine if Klee is worthy of becoming Dodoko's family, the ruler of the Dodo clan, Dodo King, wrote a letter to Klee, summoning her to this Golden Apple Archipelago to be judged. Does that sum it up? Pretty much. Yes, I have to go! And you, cutie, sought me out to help Klee find the location of this Golden Apple Archipelago, correct? That's right, you're one of the smartest people in Mondstadt. <laughs> How sweet of you to say. Then I have no choice but to assist you in earnest. Klee, can you show me that letter? Okay. Hmm. Though there's little information written upon the letter, have you all tried any other methods? Other methods? The letter contains faint elemental traces that seem more like a hint than anything else. Maybe try using your elemental sight. All right! Why didn't we think of that? Let's take a look! Did you find anything? Something appeared on the back of the letter. Most of the content on the reverse page was applied via elemental power. What an interesting approach. Here's a pen. Cutie, can I trouble you to copy down what you see with your elemental sight? You transcribe everything you see using new elements of sight on the back of the letter. Ah, it's like a map. The information on the reverse page is now clear. This drawing is likely of the Golden Apple Archipelago you've been looking for. A ton of small islands floating by themselves in the water without being anchored to any land. 
It's almost like they popped up from the seabed. Like they appeared out of thin air. Hmm. Paimon, you might be right. I don't understand what you mean. I've read every single book within this library's walls. Similar islands have been mentioned in some of them. A mysterious archipelago enveloped by storms and dense fog, belonging to no nation. That which is outside cannot enter, nor can anything inside leave. Only those who are chosen may enter its territory. Many years ago, a fleet from Mondstadt encountered some islands at sea. Reportedly, there were torrential rains and howling winds. The sailors could hardly discern land through the thick fog. The islands weren't far, but no matter how much they sailed, they never grew closer. The sailors were initially confused, but then became terrified, as they believed they were hallucinating. Whoa! Talk about mysterious and creepy! Unfortunately, the books do not record the location of these islands. I'm afraid that if you want more information, you'll have to find someone more knowledgeable than I. Aww, and Paimon thought Lisa would be the expert on this kind of thing. I am but a librarian who prefers to stay inside with her books. Klee, do you really want to go to those islands? It might be a very scary place. Yes, I want to go! <laughs> My, how brave. Far be it for me to scare a child. But Klee, you really should take someone with you, just in case. Someone reliable, like my cutie over here. Klee, you're not scared? I'm scared, but not being able to be Dodoko's family is even scarier. Dodoko is very important to me. I won't lose to Dodo King. I'll need to ask for some time off so I can go to the Golden Apple Archipelago and find Dodo King. Time off? That's right. I'm a knight of Favonius. Master Jean told me that if Clay wants to go someplace far, then she has to ask for time off. <laughs> You're going to ask for time off. Now? We still don't even know where these islands are! Cutie, judging by the look on your face, you have an idea, don't you? Uh, I have an inkling, yeah. It'll be up to you to get Jean's approval. I'll stay here and silently cheer for you all while enjoying a book and some tea. Talk to Jean. Oh, it's it's in the other room. That's where I teleport. Let's walk right there. Please be quiet within the premises and refrain from making a racket. Master Jean, I want to ask for some time off because I want to go somewhere. Clee? Oh, and it's the honorary knight in Paimon as well. It's been a while, everyone. How have you been? Baiba is also here? How rare. Did we interrupt its sisterly moment? <clears throat> oh, uh, of course not. Klee, why are you requesting time off all of a sudden? Klee is going to the Golden Apple Archipelago to meet the Dodo King, or else... Or else you'll take Dodo go away. Dodo King? Take Dodo go away? <laughs> he doesn't think that Klee is worthy of being part of Dodoko's family. I need to prove myself. Mr. Honorary Knight will help me, right? Traveler, Paimon, is this so? Please spoke the truth. I've never heard of the Golden Apple Archipelago. <laughs> Where is it? I've also never heard of it. Me either. But Miss Lisa said that someone must know. So it's a place that even Lisa doesn't know? Yeah, but I have a hunch. I see. From what you say, it seems to be quite a mysterious place. <sighs> I sincerely apologize, but I cannot approve Knight Klee's request for time off. Huh? But why? I must go! 
Even if these mysterious islands do exist, we cannot determine if they are safe or not. I cannot allow you to journey into a potentially dangerous place. But... If I don't go, Solarco will be taken away. I... I don't want to lose Solarco. Oh, Clay. Moreover, how do you intend to reach the islands? Without a safe and reliable plan drawn up, I'm afraid I cannot give you my approval. Oh, don't go. Honorary night. Huh? Is Barbara winking at me? Outside. Can you think of a way to get to the islands? Venti might know a way. Hyman also thought of him just now. We're on the same wavelength as expected. Venti? Oh, he's a magical bard that Hyman called Tone Deaf Boy. Can he help me? He's our friend. He'll definitely help. If he's a friend of the honorary knights, then things will work out for sure. We all know how reliable the honorary knight is. How about this? I'll try to persuade Master Jean. You all know she's a serious person, so I think it might take some time. Klee, trust me, okay? I'll do everything I can to help you. Okay, I can wait. <laughs> Wonderful. Tomorrow afternoon, let's all meet at the plaza outside the cathedral. I'm sure I'll have some good news. Just leave it to me. You're so dependable. Do your best, Barbara! Wait until 12 o'clock the next day and go to the square. The next day has arrived. Master Jean is here too. Yes, it's a long story. Barbara and Lisa have both spoken to me, and there is something that I have realized. Regardless if I approve it or not, Clee will go where she wants to anyway. This is how it has always been. <laughs> we all know Clee. Rather than have her run headlong into danger, it's better to agree to her request. Night Klee, your request for leave has been approved. Wow. Wow, I am so excited! However, there are conditions. In exchange, I will be accompanying everyone to this letter's Golden Apple Archipelago. As for the night's affairs, I have right. entrusted them to Kaya. Work has been busy and I shouldn't leave, but I wouldn't be able to stop worrying about Klee. So, please allow me to travel with you. Alright! There won't be any 
problems if Master Jean comes with us. Big Sis, uh, I mean, Master Jean also suggested that I come along. Barbados forbid, but I can assist if someone needs medical treatment during our journey. We're so lucky to have Barbara too! Please, Barbara, Master Jean, you two are so nice! I promise I'll be home! Clee, you always say that. I hope you will abide by your words this time. Uh... <laughs> Lisa heard that I wanted to accompany everyone to the islands, so she prepared this pouch. Supposedly, opening it will reveal a new way. New way? You mean a way to keep Clea in trouble? She said not to open it until we've reached the islands. I think it might be something to use in case of an emergency. Uh, as expected of Miss Lisa, she's been thinking of us this whole time. Anyway, our next step is to find the bard, right? I just asked the people nearby. They said that he hasn't performed at the square today and that he likely went to Windrise. What are we waiting for? Let's head to Windrise and find Tone Deaf Bard! Yeah. Hmm? If so many people are looking for me, then I suppose it is something important. Enti, do you know of the Golden Apple Archipelago? This is the map of the island. Ah, oh, yes, that place. <laughs> Congratulations, you found the right person. Wow, 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 you really do know. So, now they're called the Golden Apple Archipelago, huh? They used to be known as the Har Islands. They're located on a stretch of sea that's particularly difficult for the average person to reach. Not to mention, the area has strong storms and thick fog year-round. Ships can hardly approach the island, let alone dock. Why do you guys wish to go there? I'm going there to meet Dodo King. He said he wants to test Clee to see if she's qualified to be Dodo King's family. Hmm. Are you nervous? A little, but I will not give in. Master Tone Deaf Bard, you must help us. Master Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I like it. I am on your bad influence. Is this Paimon's fault? Fear not. Since you wish it so, Master Tone Death Bard will lend a helping hand. Could you really help us? <laughs> of course! In this world, what is more pure and free than the wish of a child? What a beautiful sound! The wind picking up? Wait just a moment. He'll be here soon. Uh, that's. Uh, Transportation. Uh, uh, uh. Storm terror. Keep falling. This is a secret between us here, so don't tell anyone else. What are the four winds? Oh, my dear poet, you have my utmost gratitude for the aid you have provided us. The acting grandmaster sure is formal. I knew you'd have a way, Venti. <laughs> what wonderful expressions you all have! I'll see you off here. May the winds bless your travels! This is as far as I go. It would be cumbersome for me to proceed further. Please, exercise caution. The 
I sleeping? There's a waypoint. First thing that catches your eye. Necessary skill for managing oh. subordinates. What an impressive person. We must properly thank him when we return. Agreed. In any case, what are these islands? The weather is dreadful, the fog is thick, and visibility is low. Just like Lisa said. We should be extra careful. Traveler, Paimon, what else does the letter say? It read, Wicked Girl of Flame, I am of the Dodo Clan as its overlord. In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodo Ko's new family. Unless... Unless you bring Dodo Ko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, like the Four Beacons, and knock upon the trial escape to accept your challenge. Four Beacons? Does that mean he wants us to find something that emits light? Now that you mention it, doesn't it seem like it's a little less foggy here than the surrounding area? Something down there. Looking carefully, that indeed appears to be the case. Could the clearing of the fog be related to this device? Don't you think it looks familiar? Pretty similar to the portable waypoints we've used before. Crafting portable waypoints requires luminescent spines, so they can also function as a source of light. So if this device here seems like it can dissipate fog, maybe it's a similar kind of device. I think so too. Light four beacons and knock upon the trialist gate. Hmm. Uh -oh. What will happen after we light up all four beacons? There's already one lit device here. It appears that we need to find the other three and light them up as well. Huh? What's that? Hey! Don't run off! Ugh, come on, catch up to her! It looks like something's down there! Let's take a closer look. Go to the boarding point. All right, let's look and check the map real quick. Okay, so I'm in a totally new section. New world, apparently. Only available for 38 days. Huh. Anything else down here? Let's try in here. Anything else here? Nope. No clues, no nothing. Got a butterfly. Butterfly wings, anyway. Two of them. Huh? Ah, I see the spot they want me to go to. Ooh, an echoing conch. But the general's a good guy. He protects us. I've told you, it's too dangerous. Hey, where are you running off to? Got a firefly. There's our spot right here. Ooh, what's this? A boat? An anchor, maybe. 
It looks as if someone has been awaiting our arrival. How would they know? Are we really supposed to sail in such terrible weather? I'm afraid that appears to be the intention. Everyone, everything about these islands is a mystery. Regardless of what lies ahead, please proceed with utmost caution. The Wave Rider is a very mysterious waterborne vehicle that can be summoned to the skipper's side using a Wave Rider waypoint. Get close to the Wave Rider to board and sail it, and set sail. You can summon it from our Wave Rider waypoint at any time, but one person can only own one Wave Rider. Wave Riders can accelerate to increase their speed. They're also armed with two different weapons, the Swift Strike and Heavy Cannons. Heavy Cannon has more firepower, but takes longer cooldown after being fired. Hold Jump to stop sailing and leave the right Wave Rider. After leaving it, you can get close to it again and start sailing. Or use it to summon it to your side once more. Cool, I got a boat. Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. Here's a waypoint. Unlocked. Because I can just jump on the ship. Yo ho ho and a bottle of dandelion wine. Alright. Hey, that grenade looks familiar. Is that my only weapon? How about this? So these are like little uh, lights. I bet I have to follow them. Fog diffuses over the surface of the sea around the Golden Apple Archipelago. Get careless and you just might get lost. Beacons floating on the ocean surface are critical to lighting the way. Once you sail close to a beacon, pulses will appear on the minimap. The closer you are to the beacon, the stronger the pulses will be. Adjust your course to follow the pulses to ensure you are heading toward the beacon. Beacon's light will continuously twinkle. If you've reached the beacon, it will be activated and become lit. Use the beacons to avoid getting lost. Find the many items within the fog. Islands within the fog. Unlock their tell their waypoints. Beacon activated. Get the next one. Okay, so I just have to stand next to all of them. Peek the next beacon. There's like a monster on that island. Can't get off. I'm looking for a waypoint. Whoa. Crashed into it. That was an accident. So I was at an island, but it didn't seem. Maybe I was supposed to get off. It said I could jump and walk. I think I'm supposed to get off. I'm gonna try getting off. Here. Deja vu. Let's get some firepower here. You're good at knocking people in the water. There we go. You drown? Yes, you do. Ooh. That was a typo. Up, up, down, in. Yep, down to him. Can I reach? No, I can't. I mean, I mean my long distance. Do I have my ranged attacker? No, she's hurt. 
Let's switch to... Can't switch anybody. Darn it. No range people. Okay, well... Let's see if I can get it. That red thing in it. I wonder if that means you can blow it up. This must be a platform I can jump everything from. Um, yeah. Bye bye. Yay. This is my unlock waypoint thing? Doesn't look like it. These must not be islands. I could have probably ignored this island. That chest was pretty much meaningless. Alright, let's go backward. That? No waypoint to unlock here. Here we go. Have I been to this one yet? I'm not sure. What does it say? Another one I'm going to ignore. There's an island. Let's jump off and go to that island. Can we jump off? I guess I have to pick a complete stop before I can jump off. Four eggs. Open the chest. Alright, it's not the waypoint I needed. Hoping it was, but see if I got one up at the top of the mountain. No. Well, it could be. Looks like something here. Echoing conch. Maybe that was. Disappear this part on fire. Mm -hmm. Let's dance. Disappear. Wind blade. Back off. Oh no. Knock me off the cliff. How did she heal? I'll take it. How did that happen? Oh, 
There you go. Alright, last guy. This rock is my entry point. And... Chest and punch. Where's that punch? There we go. Echoing punch. <sighs> How time flies. In the blink of an eye, I've grown old. Oh, hello, hello, darling. Come, Come to, to Grandma. grandma. Oh, goodness. Someone's, Someone's growing, growing up fast, fast, aren't they? You're, you're not, not a small, small child anymore. anymore. Now, what do you think this might be? <laughs> it's a family heirloom. Grandma's ancestors brought it with them when they came here many years ago. Today, Grandma is giving it to you. Take it, and remember this nursery rhyme. One river flowing down the middle. Huh. Wonder what that is. All right, well, we're making progress here. I think this is a good cut point for the video. Um, we will continue bouncing through islands with our new speedboat <sighs> next time. So thanks a lot for joining me, and see you all next time.